and welcome back to my channel. So today I am recreating this look that I wore on my Instagram. The picture will be right here somewhere. It is the easiest grey sparkly smoky eye that I have ever done and I had so many of you guys requesting me to film a look on it so that's what I'm doing right now. I decided to make this a bit of a chatty video only because sometimes it's nice to switch things up and I feel like I'm a little bit bored of voiceovers at the moment. So I'm going to start off by moisturising my skin with the Embrylisse Late Creme Concentrate. My French is really bad so apologies if I've said that wrong but I actually picked this up when I was in Paris and so many people say that it's such a good moisturiser that I was like I have to pick this up and try it. I'm just gonna put that all over my face. The thing that I really like about this is that it is really light, but it does give your skin that moisture that it needs. For primer, I'm going in with the Benefit Professional Matte Rescue. And I'm just gonna apply that to the areas where I tend to get a little bit oily. I'm actually gonna apply a little bit of this Makeup Forever Step One Skin Equalizer on to my cheeks. And this is only because I have a couple of like little bits of like porridge going on. And this is just gonna like smooth everything out. I'm gonna skip through the base only because you guys have seen me do my foundation so many times. I'm gonna be using a mixture of the Giorgio Armani Maestro Foundation in the shade 6.5 and also the L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt Foundation in the shade 03. Just my luck, I cannot find a beauty blender. Ooh. If only my base took that long in real life to do. Um, I'm gonna move on to eyes next. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Creme de Nude all over my eyelids. And you guys know the drill, this is gonna make the eyeshadow last longer and the colors to pop as well. Now just to set that area in place, I'm gonna use some of this Well People Bio Brightener Invisible Powder. I had had this lying around for quite a while and the name has just really intrigued me, so I want to try it out, especially because it says it's an invisible powder. Now we're going to go in with the eyeshadow and the palette I'm going to be using is this taupe palette by Zoeva. I mentioned this in my monthly favourites and I just love, love this palette. And I'm going to apply that to the crease. Ooh. What am I trying to say? So I'm going to take hour by hour and I'm going to start applying that into the crease to build up the transition colour. And now to build on that colour, I'm going to add some of Gallery into the crease as well. And what you want to do with this is you don't want to drag it out, you want to kind of like curve it in. Because we want this to be like a rounded smoky eye rather than like a winged out smoky eye. Taking a clean fluffy brush, we're just going to go over that to make sure that everything is nice and blended. So the star of this eyeshadow look is this colour here which is called Old Master. Now this is like a greyish purple with flecks of gold in it. It's such a gorgeous eyeshadow shade. I'm going to take this on my Zoeva Luxe Brow Light Brush and I'm going to pack that colour onto the eyelids. And you basically want to start packing this colour on until you've got the kind of level of intensity that you want it to be at. With any dark shadows that you're working with, you want to make sure that you're getting the area like right above your lash line because sometimes that can look funny if you've not covered it all up. So now that we've got most of that colour on our eyelids, I know I've got some fallout on my cheeks but we'll sort that out in a second. I'm just taking a little bit more of Gallery and I'm running that along in the crease just so that everything's nice and blended. So once our eyes are looking a little bit like this, I'm going to take some of Exquisite, which is this matte kind of aubergine colour. And I'm just going to really slightly tap that and then add that into the crease as well, just to add some sort of like redness into it. Again, taking a clean fluffy brush, we're just gonna blend all the edges away. 
I'm gonna flick away the color that we've got underneath our eyes. And for some weird reason on my mouth as well. <laughs> So the only color that I used which isn't from this palette is a champagne pot and I use this as a highlight. So I'm gonna grab this on my Nanchi shader brush and I'm gonna add this to my brow bones and this is just gonna add the most gorgeous highlight. That, you guys, is dry shampoo which has like made my hair all white. Whoops. <laughs> you can literally like tell the difference. <laughs> it's such a gorgeous highlight. You can totally use this as an eyeshadow or a highlight for your cheeks. I'm gonna go and blend in between where the highlight and the eyeshadow is just so that there's no harsh lines there either. Taking some more of Champagne Pop, I'm gonna apply this to the inner corners. I'm probably gonna have to redo this because I always redo this once I've done my eyeshadow, but it's okay. We'll work with it. So the top part of our eyeshadow is done. I'm gonna move on to brows next and I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Brow Sculpting Brow. No, Pro Sculpting Brow. I'm gonna comb through them first and you guys know the drill. I'm just gonna fill them in. I've actually been using this quite a lot on the days where I can't be bothered to use my dip brow and it is very good. I love using this because it creates a really, really soft brow it's not harsh at all. And I always comb the front part just so that it looks more natural. Oh, my brow gel. Taking some Anastasia brow gel, I'm just gonna set all of those brow hairs in place. I'm gonna finish off the eyes now and I'm gonna go in with some, my mind has literally just gone blank. Um, of Perversion Eyeliner by Urban Decay. So many of you guys were like, where is your perversion eyeliner in your recent videos? I'm gonna put my hands up. The reason why it wasn't in my videos was because I completely have lost my sharpener. But I recently got the NARS sharpener, which is insanely good. So I can use it again. <laughs> so I'm gonna line my upper waterline with this. Taking my Charlotte Tilbury nude eyeliner, I'm gonna line my lower waterline with this. For this look, I didn't wear any winged eyeliner only because I wore my Samantha Huda Beauty lashes and they have such a thick band that I just feel like I don't need to wear any winged eyeliner or any liquid liner on top. So I'm gonna take my False Lash Sculpt Mascara and I'm gonna coat my top and lower lashes with this. You guys, I'm still obsessed with this mascara. It literally does wonders. Can you guys see that? Like, that is just crazy. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, I'm not gonna add this to my lower lashes just yet because I wanna do my concealing and all of that before we go in with mascara because I don't want my concealer to get all up in my lashes. So, for concealer, I'm gonna use none other than my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. This is in the shade Light. Um, I'm just gonna use it underneath my eyes and then whatever's left in the other places that I like to highlight. Oh, wait, before I do this, I'm gonna add a little bit of this YSL corrector. This is the peach corrector that they have. And this is so good at canceling out any kind of like darkness that you've got underneath your eyes. So I'm just gonna add this first. And on top of that, I'm gonna add the Maybelline concealer. in the usual areas. I'm also gonna add the tiniest bit underneath where my contour would be. I'm gonna blend all of those lines away using the Zoeva Luxe Petite Buffer. I seriously just don't like using brushes to like do any of my base work. It's so weird, like I'm all about the Beauty Blender, like I'm not happy with this, but we're just gonna work with it because I have no idea where I've put my Beauty Blenders right now. <laughs> to set all of these areas, I'm gonna use that same Well People powder. So just setting all of those areas in place. 
is actually quite a nice powder. It'll be interesting to see how long it lasts on the skin. I will put in the info box a bit of a mini review of what I think about it because I will be leaving this makeup on. It's surprisingly very, very, very lightweight on the skin. Okay. So I'm gonna finish with the eyes. I'm gonna take a mixture of Old Master and Exquisite. I'm gonna mix them together and I'm gonna add that onto the lower lash line. And the brush I'm using is the Zoeva Luxe pencil brush. I'm just joining it up on the corners so that everything's nice and blended in together. Definitely need some more champagne pop in the inner corners of my eyes. So I'm just gonna add that really quickly. Last step on the eyes is adding some mascara. So I'm just gonna quickly add some of that to the lower lashes. This is the part where I go in and add more colors and intensify certain areas that I want to. So those are the eyes completed. And you guys know me, I'm gonna wait until I add my lashes right until the end of the look. That's only because uh, my eyelashes will be nice and dry from the mascara and then that way I won't get any mascara on my fingers. But this is what I meant about how easy but like effective this eye is. It's not as intense as like a black smoky eye but it still gives you that really nice smoky effect with that pop of highlight on the brow bone. Now I'm gonna finish off the base and the cheeks and the contouring. First I'm gonna bronze up the face and then I'm gonna add kind of contour powders in the areas where I wanna set it slightly. So for bronze I'm gonna use the Maestro Liquid Bronze and this is in the shade 06. I love this as a bronzer. I think it's become my favorite bronzer of like all time. So I'm taking some of that on the back of my hand and using a Real Techniques buffing contour brush, what is this called, contour brush, I'm just gonna add that to the areas that I wanna warm up my face. So I'm adding it to my cheekbones. I'm just gonna blend that away. And to my hairline. And also my jawline enough of the bronzer so now I'm gonna go in with contouring and I'm gonna use the freedom makeup strobe palette and I'm gonna use a mixture of like the three darkest shades and I'm gonna take that on a Zoeva Luxe face paintbrush and we're just gonna contour away not too much but like just enough And I'm gonna slightly contour the old nose as well. I'm just taking that like foundation brush and just kind of going over the areas just so that it's nice and blended. I'm gonna add layers of highlight for this look because I actually wore a lot of highlight when I wore this makeup. So first I'm taking Ballerina, which is by Laura Geller, which I love. I'm gonna add this like in between where my highlight would be and where my contour is. So just slightly above the contour. And this is just gonna add a glow to the cheeks. I'm also taking this like onto the cheeks themselves because I'm not gonna be wearing any blush. Now to add that like pop of highlight, I'm taking Champagne Pop. Yeah. <laughs> now for the pop of highlight, I'm taking Champagne Pop and I'm gonna be adding it like right on the tops of my cheeks. So it really catches the light and there'll be like a nice fade from like really popping highlight and then a little bit and then like blended into the bronzer. Do you see what I mean? Oh my God. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but seriously, this like in real life just looks insane. Whatever's left on my brush, I'm gonna take it down the bridge of my nose, the tops of my brows, and then dipping it in just like twice and then adding it to the top of my cupid's bow. So time for the lips. I'm first taking Mahogany Lip Liner by NYX and I'm gonna line my lips with this. I feel like this is the lip liner that I can wear with any lipstick. I seriously love this lip liner so much. I'm also filling in my lips. 
I'm gonna go in with a nude matte liquid lipstick and that's this one here by Stila and it's called Caramello. Taking a lip liner brush, I'm gonna blend everything into place. And then on top of that, in true Koch style, I'm gonna add another lipstick. This one is a Giorgio Armani lipstick, which I've been using a lot recently, and this is in the shade 501. And this is just gonna like lock everything in place. Now the final, final, final step is to add the lashes. The lashes that I used in this look are the Samantha lashes. So I'm just gonna pop these on off screen because I'm gonna be so close to my mirror, you guys, you're not gonna be able to see anything. So I'll be back in three, two, one, now. So guys, this is the end of the makeup look that I recreated from my Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well as the makeup. It is very very simple to do. You obviously don't have to include the exact same steps that I did or the exact same products that I used. You can always switch it up with what you have which is similar and get a look similar to this. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed it because it is a very kind of glamorous Definitely something you could wear more for like glamorous evening spring summer stuff because the colors aren't too heavy But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video Um, with that being said, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on any further Videos the subscribe button is just down there. But yeah, I guess that is all for now And I will see you all in my next video. Bye Hello.